I want the next generation of production and innovation to happen right here. President-elect Donald Trump posted a video outlining his agenda once inaugurated, tackling trade deals, restrictions on energy production, immigration, and imposing a lobbying ban for all workers in the executive branch. That lobbying ban intended to separate business interests from the public interest, an issue that with Mr. Trump's portfolio poses a challenge, says ABC News contributor and former Bush Cheney strategist Matt Dow. You cannot take advantage or benefit from a foreign state or a foreign government. That's a huge problem for Donald Trump. There have already been a few meetings that seem to blur the line between business and government, first with real estate developers in India and now a British politician who the New York Times reports may have been lobbied about the Trump golf course in Scotland. Now the first House Republican is breaking ranks to criticize Mr. Trump's many business entanglements, writing, you rightly criticized Hillary for Clinton Foundation. If you have contracts with foreign governments, it's certainly a big deal too. Meanwhile, supporter Rudy Giuliani said he could see the president-elect dropping his pledge to call for an investigation into his former rival, Hillary Clinton, but he could go either way. There's a tradition in American politics that after you win an election, you sort of put things behind you. I'd also be supportive of continuing the investigation. And regardless of what Mr. Trump decides, it's worth noting that in this country, the president does not decide who should or shouldn't be prosecuted. That decision is intended to be made by investigators based on evidence independent of politics. Lana Zak, ABC News, Washington.